as we gather here today, we will bring our unique perspectives. This is the product of lessons and learnings over the past several years' gatherings. As beings on this planet, we do have a right to be within the realm of the outdoors and nature. That work of enabling everyone who wants to be and who has an aspiration to not just access nature, but to also be the land stewards that they want. It's not always about, you know, thinking about the landscapes that have the most people on them, but which people. And to really think about who your organizations have prioritized in the past and who has received the benefit of your work. You have to remember to slow down, to make time for trust and relationship building. We cannot address these challenges in isolation. Conservation needs to be better integrated with land use planning and vice versa. Communities deserve to be decision makers, deserve to be at the table helping to decide priorities. We need to trust that communities have expertise. How can you go to their table? How can you lift up what's being said and channel money and power into those communities? Collaborating and innovating, working with so many people is messy and time consuming and sometimes uncomfortable. Much, much damage has been done by people who love nature and the environment. We're addressing the injustice that we're doing to our non-human politics, intergenerational injustice that climate change represents. Nature is exactly what we are. We are part of nature. And I think the severance of that connection has been to the detriment of our health and our communities and so many of the ills that we're trying to repair. Connecting to what inspires us might just help connect those dots across these complex issues and show us a way forward.